a copy? Perhaps I too am merely a copy of some original. Somewhere. <laughs> that certainly sounds like something I would do. A miscalculation. I had high hopes that you will make a great test subject. Man with the Azure. In the embryo, your existence is foreign, which is why it must have some meaning. Now, let me observe whatever that is. The power of order. In the end, you were just a pawn of this world. You do not possess the power to do anything. This is a fact you cannot change. You are defective. From your vessel to your soul. This much I will guarantee. You've got one of two choices. I dissect the fresh specimen right here. Or I preserve you for long-term research. <laughs> the Kaka clan. You're not worth much as research fodder, but... I suppose I should take a sample before you go completely extinct. Modifying versus creating. I need not go into the details of each to know which is better. I would suggest you think hard about what you are, and come back when you're ready. What sets one apart from others? Why, that simply has to do with the soul you bind to a vessel. The base is all the same. If you really want to, then why not create one? Your awareness of storied memories is distorted, but it appears the information continues to accumulate. This seems to me more like evolution rather than growth. Fascinating. Emotions are simply the result of discord between the soul and flesh. A foolish outlet if you ask me. Frankly speaking, your display of emotions is painful to watch. Throw away your beliefs and forget your theories, Carl. Your stubbornness will blind you. That is unless you want Ada to drown in this fantasy. In which case, 
Do proceed. That's right, Carl. Don't hesitate. Everything but your objective is simply noise. Abandon it. Beyond the isolation lies your true desires. Your flesh is your blade, and vice versa. <laughs> the way you crumble is indeed like a rusted blade. Signs of a soul are beginning to sprout. This is quite unexpected. Fascinating, but unexpected. You can patch up an inferior design as much as you want, Kokonoe, but that won't change what she is. To think the day would come for me to reuse this failed piece of work. But that is what makes science so fascinating. The evolution of a failure. A blind apostle to the gods. You may as well be a doll. The story of how a vessel gained intentions of its own. A great theme for my next piece. It seems you are independently functioning as a vessel, Hazama. I shall continue to observe your progress. You don't mind if I open you up a little, do you? God Slayer. I suppose this is the best you can do while missing a fragment of your soul. A reproposed defect. No surprise you would fall before me. Your soul is quite powerful. But it's a shame I cannot say the same about your vessel. The frailty of human life. You fight with too much emotion, Valkenhayn. I applaud your courage, but I doubt your body can sustain it. How about I add some reinforcements? It would appear your core personality has gone missing. The remaining two are no longer safe. Let me observe what happens in the end. Justice this, evil that. 
Your perspective needs to be broadened. Adhere to such rudimentary ideas, and you will fail to see the truth. Successor to that blood sucker? Now, I wonder how long you could pretend to be an observer. You are both mediocre in skill and soul. However, the way you carry yourself in combat so swiftly, you may make a good test subject yet. The waves in your soul and flesh are in complete harmony. And yet, you are only human. This is magnificent! A soul that has lost its ideals is cheap indeed. You are the epitome of one such example, Black Knight. The Black Knight, Kagura Mutsuki. Your vessel and soul are both top-notch. You are worth researching. How fruitless, Kokonoi. Your pathetic power only leaves you dancing on the palm of the observers. I am insane? My, my, what interesting things you say, Teremi. Then tell me this, what exactly is insanity in a world that is already distorted? Have you had a change of heart this late in the game, Teremi? It's not like you, hanging on to old habits. The very living key Shuichiro designed into Kushinada. Now this is an interesting power. A lonely soul. Your power to clone is simply the mental gap to fill your void. You've come much closer to an immortal than before, but there's still a lot of room for improvement. Quite a fascinating phenomenon if I do say so myself, Nine. I shall pick up where you left off. You can leave now. Your magical capacity is indeed immense, Nine. 
but aside from that, it serves little purpose. Remember, I exist to succeed where magic has failed. A world of death. This is the vision you saw. It is neither better nor worse than what I have predicted, which makes it truly boring. I'm sensing a slight discord between your soul and vessel. This may get a little uncomfortable, but do allow me to make the adjustments. A fascinating existence you are indeed. The logic of your existence. The materials by which you are comprised. I shall leave no stone unturned. No name. The quality of goods is, well, low, but there may be reasons to investigate you yet. How pathetic, Jubei. You were bound by the shackles of your past. I find few souls less interesting than the one that is slave to its own atonement. <laughs> 